Hello everyone, I'm Riddhi Milani and we are talking about the Economic Survey 2021. So this time the topic is invisibles. So we were actually discussing in the last video about external sector and we have already discussed about our import and the exports of goods. Now we talk about the services. Net services receipts amounting to US $41.7 billion remain stable in April-September 2020 compared with US $40.5 billion in corresponding period a year ago. So in fact, you can say that they are in, in the increase marginally. So this was actually a resilient sector services one. And here we see a trend. This yellow line just represents the service imports and the red line represents the service exports. And we see clearly that prior to COVID, our imports, so services imports had been falling and they fell more severely in the first quarter of this current financial year. And uh, our exports fell too, but they fell less severely. And the net services, it clearly tells us that we are a net net uh, exporter of services and composition of net services exports. So we see that software sector, this is that sector wherein we do most of the exports. Now I talk about the current account of balance of payment. So this is something that we have already discussed before and this again tells us the same thing that our services they help us uh, they, they have helped us this year to maintain a, a surplus in current account balance and during april 2020 net fdi flows recorded an inflow of us 27.5 billion dollars close to 15% higher compared to first seven months of FY20, an endorsement of India's status as a preferred investment destination among the global investors. As far as sector-wise FDI is concerned, computer software and hardware attracted the highest FDI in equity flows of US $17.6 billion in April to September 2020. So uh, we see that we have been actually a preferred destination and not just for FDI, but for FPIs too. And in the, in the first quarter of, or let's say in the last quarter, of, yes, in the last quarter of February 20, that is around, that is a March month, wherein we saw Nifty go touch the levels of 7,500. That was when the FPIs, they were aggressively selling in India. And then uh, since October, November, I think uh, since then they have only been investing here. And we look at the beautiful demand that they have created uh, I mean, look at the beautiful investment that they have made in equity. And we see here that they do not invest much in debt. In fact, our debt market is not that developed uh, and there are not much investments from the foreigners when it comes to the, our debt market. And there has been the addition of some Indian stocks to Morgan Stanley Cap Capital International Global Standard Indices which has also helped in attracting foreign capital inflows. And now I talk about external debt. So when we talk about 2020 and then the end of September 2020, we see that our external our external debt, this is this uh, brown line, this is mostly unchanged. So we have, so whatever debt we have taken during the, the most crucial time it was internal only now i talk about overall balance of payment and this too tells us that our fdi as well as fpi they are the ones that have helped us maintain a positive balance of payment and this is our current account balance and there has been a huge increase in our forex reserves too. So, however, since quarter four of FI20, India has been experiencing a current account surplus along with robust capital inflows leading to a balance of payment surplus. Because prior to that, we see that we had a negative current account balance as well. Now we talk about the impact of RBI's intervention in the forex market. So during the time when FPIs were withdrawing from our markets, there was quite a lot of volatility. So this is 1% change. And since then it has decreased. And when they were aggressively investing in our markets, the volatility was very much down. 
and this is again this tells us the same so this blue bars they they let they tell us they depict the volatility in the market in the forex market and this red line tells us what are the uh, cumulative fpi flows so they cumulatively withdraw during the march time and then they have been investing uh, around december since december and our foreign exchange reserves they have gone tremendously up and this red line this tells us the import cover we have so at this point of time in fy fy19 we had around uh, close to a year's import cover and it has increased sharply since this financial year and now we have 18 months of import cover so this is it about this chap this video uh, we will continue more in the next one thank you so much